Hey, what's up everyone? This is Josh with the Envision Blog, and as you can tell by the title, today I am doing a reaction opinion style video, which is one, the first of its kind on this channel, and two, it's gonna be an opportunity for me to jump back into some of the content related to visual and hearing impairment. As most of y'all know, I haven't been making a lot of content uh, related to that because I've been more so dabbling in some of the raps and things like that. But, you know, this is a channel where we talk about different things related to visual and hearing impairment. So, you know I gotta come with it. So, for today, what we have is a video of a blind guy flying on a plane. Yes, you heard that right. A blind guy flying a plane. Um, this is actually a fairly old video and it has made its rounds uh, in my social media thread for years. Like when I say years, I mean I will have one person share it to me and then maybe like seven months later another person will share it to me and then you know a complete year later after the video came out and went viral or whatnot, then another person would share it to me. And so I figured I've never really talked a lot about my thoughts on the video and I figured, hey, I got this channel, might as well do it now. But before we go ahead and play the video and I give my thoughts on it, I just wanna let you guys know that oftentimes the intention behind people sharing this type of video with me is to have that sort of, oh, look at this person. They're just like you and they're doing amazing things. You can do amazing things too or, Oh, look at this person, you know, they're doing great stuff, so you shouldn't be discouraged. Or look what this person is doing despite their disability, just like what you're doing despite your disability. So it's very like inspirational type stuff and it comes from a good place. Um, but if I do share any sort of like aha moments or I shoot some idea down or whatnot in talking about this video, I just want to let you know that if you are someone who has shared that video with me, you know, I understand that when people share this kind of stuff, normally the intentions are good. Um, and you know, sometimes, it, you know, there's can be a little bit more of a deeper message that maybe we're not always, you know, thinking about when we share this stuff. Not saying it's a bad or good thing, I'm just saying that if I state something that maybe you didn't think of when you shared it, or you know you don't think of when you watch it, you know, it's all about, you know, educating and thinking about a different perspective. But regardless of that, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, let's do it. All right, so he has RP, all right and has 5% of his vision left. And clearly this has not kept him from, you know, flying in the sky and... Altitude. Right, so he's got an old buddy there who is giving him heading. directions. And 85 knots is excellent. And you can go ahead and start a left hand turn here. You're at uh, 90 knots. And then a 15 degree banking on your left. All right, I'm gonna pause this right quick. Live a life of exceeding expectations, innovating and defining your own destiny. Uh, Jim Platter, I, that's the guy who's flying the plane. Start it back up. There you go, hold it, hold it, hold it back. Good, I didn't touch the stick. All right, that's all you, my friend. Good job, awesome, man. <laughs> Excellent. Subscribe for more positivity. Okay, overall, um, I think it's a very positive video. I think it's good if you want to be all up in your feels and have a good uh, feeling about something, you know, lift your spirits. I think it's very good for that because obviously it's there to uh, help give you some positivity. But at the same time, um, just something about it just seems a little off with me. In looking at the video, there's more to the message. Now, I am not discrediting what this guy is doing by any means. You know, the fact that you have 5% of your vision left and, you know, you have the guts to go out there and fly a plane is just, you know, that is, um, that takes some guts. However, I think the video spins that inspiration narrative a little too much. First things first, it goes off in saying that this guy was a pilot for over 15 years. Now here's the thing, a lot of people don't realize that when you're a person with retinitis pigmentosa, your vision slowly uh, gets worse and worse. By the very nature of the disease, you are actually able to slowly adapt 
to being visually impaired. One of the things the doctor told me when I first became diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa is just be glad it's retinitis pigmentosa so it's going to be a slow progression of your vision getting worse and you will be able to adapt to it over time. This guy was flying a plane for over 15 years. So, you know, he is well adapted into his job. So, you know, as quote unquote blindness sets in, you know, there are going to be ways that people adapt to that. It's the same way with my DJing. Like, you know, people see me DJing and, you know, they're just like, oh my Lord, you're a visually impaired DJ. And, you know, people are like, oh my Lord, how do you DJ? And, you know, it's like my equipment hasn't really changed you know, over the course of the 10 years that I've DJed. So there's not been a lot of equipment differences for me to adapt. So even though my vision has gotten worse, I still know where all the buttons are. I still know how to use my computer's accessibility options. I still know how to self-accommodate to do my job. And speaking of accommodations, there's an aspect of this video that people don't talk about when they share it. And that is the fact that it is very misleading that this guy says that he is flying the plane just as he used to. I am like 100% sure that when he flew a plane, there wasn't some cat next to him giving him every little direction, telling him every little thing about where he's flying, all this kind of stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure he could fly the plane just on his own as he would, but now that he's got a visual condition, he needs a partner there to tell him, you know, the directions, the speed, all that kind of stuff. Now, I am not knocking that. What I am saying is this guy is able to fly a plane because he is accommodated. One of the things that I've discovered is people are so quick to share this video as a means of let's be inspired, but nobody wants to sit there and talk about how with accommodations, people can still do the things that they want to do despite having a visual impairment or in a greater sense, despite having a disability. With accommodations, we can give a lot of people with disabilities opportunities to work and contribute as productive members of society. And that is something that does not get talked about in the realm of this video because it gets so wrapped up in the feel-good inspiration. So to sum this up, I think this video is no good for inspirational purposes. If you want to feel all fuzzy and warm inside and feel like, you know, there's goodness in the world and whatnot, you know, I think it's great for that. And unfortunately in the disability community, this whole idea of people with disabilities being used as figures of inspiration, you know, it's a very touchy subject. And I will actually address that in a different video. But, you know, overall, I think that there's a deeper message behind this. I think that, you know, people tend to look at people with disabilities and think that just because they've done something that they've done all their lives and now they're doing it with a disability that, you know, oh, it's this awe-inspiring thing. When in reality, you know, don't knock the idea of giving someone credit for the ability to self-accommodate. Overall, I think this video focuses on this guy's disability and what he's able to do given that he has a disability rather than focus on utilizing his abilities and recognizing that he's able to use someone um, to help him guide the plane, that he's able to use his prior knowledge um, in order to guide the plane. And, you know, we're so focused on the fact that he's this blind person rather than focusing on the fact that this guy used to be a pilot. This is something he loves to do and that was his ability and he still has the ability to, provided he has the accommodations. And I think we also need to focus on people's abilities and how we can best accommodate them to allow them to continue to do what they love to do to the best of that ability. All right, but that's gonna do it for the video today. So if you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe for more. And then also let me know in the comment section below if you wanna see more videos like this. And also let's have a discussion in the comment section. Uh, let me know what you thought about my thoughts on the video, if you agree or disagree, and hopefully we can continue with the education. So with that being said, this is Josh with the Envision Blog, signing off.